Today, I'm going to show you how to use choices in Dynamics 365 and why they are useful. Choices were previously called multi-select option sets, but the naming has been updated in the new Power Platform. Hello, I'm Andrea Oklubgia, and I'm a Solutions Specialist with Encore Business Solutions. First, we will discuss what are choices good for. Choices simplify data entry and reporting by allowing multiple choice values to be selected for a column, previously referred to as a field. This reduces the need for additional columns, custom coding, and allows for more efficient reporting. Before it was added as a column type in Dynamics 365, many companies relied on JavaScript to achieve this functionality. Now let's look at how we can create a choice. First, it is important to ensure you have the required privileges to create a column. Once signed in to Power Apps, select your specific solution and locate the table, previously called an entity, that you wish to add your column within. Select columns either through the left pane or on the information page itself. Then select new column, and this is where we will enter our data details. First, we enter a display name. We can add a description if needed. And then we select our data type as choice. From here, we will leave our behavior as simple instead of calculated. And we can specify if we want the choice to be business recommended, business required, or optional. We will leave the column as searchable so it appears in advanced find. And below is where we specify that we will allow multiple choices for our column by checking this off. Here, we can also decide, do we want to sync with global choice? A global choice means that the options within the column can be used for other tables. For example, if you wanted to create a new column on a lead, we can use the option values that we create for that lead. What this allows is if you add, remove, or modify any values, the updates will be reflected across all columns that use these choice values. A local choice, on the other hand, means that it is specific only to this table. Next, we either select a choice value that's been created, or in our case, we're going to create a new choice value by clicking New Choice. Here we enter a display name. and then add our choice values. Once we've added all of our values, we will click Save. Then we search for our new created choice. Under advanced options, we have the ability to change the schema name. Um, as you can see, it's already populated based off of our display name, but we have the ability to edit if needed. We can also add some column security to prevent certain users from viewing or modifying the column on a form. We can also enable auditing. And additionally, we can specify if we want the column to be sortable when using an interactive dashboard experience. Once completed, we will click Save and our column is created. Now let's add the column to a form. I can either navigate to forms through forms on the left pane or select this dropdown and select forms here. Then I click within the form that I want to edit.
to add the column to the form, I will select this ABC icon. Zoom in just a little bit down here. And search for the column we have created. From here, I simply drag and drop, and I'll add it right to the top so it's prominent. Then I will click Save. And finally, Publish. Now that we've published, let's take a look at what our column looks like on a form. Navigating to our contacts, I'm going to click within contact and do a quick refresh so we can see our changes. From here, we see our hobbies. And when I select the drop down, I can select multiple items that'll be reflected right on the form itself. Finally, let's discuss some limitations to choices. Please note that these limitations are only when the multiple choice option has been selected for the column and are not limitations when using a single choice column. First, processes and workflows. Choices can be used as trigger events for processes and workflows, but they cannot be updated within the process workflow logic, nor can they be used in a conditional statement to perform some other branching logic condition. They also cannot be used for business process flows. Secondly, business rules. Choices cannot be updated within business rule logic, nor can they be used in a conditional statement to perform some other branching logic condition. However, your Dynamics partner or developer may be able to use JavaScript to give you the same functionality, such as exposing or hiding columns based on choice values. And finally, importing values for new records. You can import choice values to existing records, but you cannot import them for new records. The workaround is to import your new records without these values and then do a second import to add the values. For any questions regarding column creation or other aspects of Dynamics 365, please visit our webpage to contact us.